Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nifo29 and here's what's in my backpack. Uh, we're underweight. Um, we're all good in there. These are getting low. Um, everything in there is good. Clothing is all pretty good for the most part. We got a little bit of food. I got to drop that. I'm going to drop it with the other ones. Uh, we got a bunch of water. Uh, flare gun. That's down to 80. Uh, we have three arrows we can make. And we have bullets on us. And seven cloth. We got all of our feathers. We are day 233. And here's our skills. Fishing and firearm, three and four. Revolver and gunsmithing, they're three and four. And we are past midday. So what are these at? 40 minutes until boiled. Hmm. Oh, before I forget. I need to take all that stuff. Uh, oh, right. Drop you. Put you with your buddies. Come on, man. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, go grab some uh, meat. Take those ones. You have a special word for today. Hopefully I don't find it difficult as it's relevant. Okay. Let's take those. We got 28 minutes. Um, there we go. Venison pie. Take all those. We're going to move. Oh, I got to remember not to forget those. Uh, 37 minutes. What are you at? 16? This pack is getting too heavy to carry. There we go. Alright, let's uh, throw some reclaimed wood on there. And let's get rid of some of this water that we just made. Uh, how much should I get rid of? I don't know. I don't like that one. Come on, mouse. Come on, mouse. There we go. What do we have? Six ninety-nine. That's a lot. You're fifteen. You're thirty-six. Uh, I think we'll just make those two. Oh, I can't forget these. These are items that I'm gonna have to take. I don't really need the wires, but I'm going to take them. I don't care. Uh, these pots. 79 and 81. I don't know what any of these pots are at. I want the best ones. Okay, so 81 and 83 are the best can you even repair pots? I've never done it. Yeah, I guess you can. Something I was wondering is like, uh, when you're cooking and you have your pots on the stove, do they degrade? 
the pot and skillet you take with you is at 100%. I'm going to see about uh, repairing those. What is it? It's Oh, it's an hour. It is an hour. You're 17 minutes. Let's just forward you. All right. Should I actually probably... Hmm. I'm questioning whether I should take a pot and a skillet or just take two pots. I think I'm going to take a pot and a skillet, to be honest. Let's do that. Throw you up there. Leave that one there. They don't degrade unless an item gets burnt. Okay. I kind of suspected that, but it was kind of, I kind of like, you know, hey, that's not what I wanted. But I kind of wondered, like, hey, that would be interesting if they uh, degraded just because they were there on a hot stove. Uh, let's do that. Go downstairs. We are 59. We're extremely heavy. But I'm going to see. We have enough time to repair them. But we also kind of want to make up the arrows that we're able to make up. There we go. Let's do that. Let's do the arrows first. Um, that's way more important than repairing. You're at 79. That's 39 minutes. Well, I guess the other one should be about the same, right? When I checked, it was... Uh, there, that one's at 100. When I checked, oh, I should take the worst one and repair it. Whatever, I'm going to do this. Hey, XM. Welcome in. How are you doing? There we go. Uh, what's our... Our lantern's at 100 as well. I just did something I've never done before. Repaired the pot and the skillet. Put you right there. You're all empty, you're empty. You're both empty. Uh, you're at 80, you are one and one. I wonder... an hour. I don't know that we can finish. That's not long enough. Almost. Almost. Actually, before I place that down, it's at 97. Okay. Let's do that. We will... I wonder, can you repair these then? No, you can't. Interesting. All right, uh, it's too early to sleep. I'm wondering, you know what? I can make a fire. I got lots of wood upstairs. I can also just tear these down by hand, kill some time, get some extra wood. Any more crates down here? Or anything that we can tear down with our hands? That isn't uh, cardboard. I don't really care about the cardboard. 
There we go. We got two more hours that we can kill. We don't really need the wood. We just need kill enough time so we can go to bed. How much wood did we gain? 18. Wow. Can I get this to go down? Right there. Hey, look at that. Uh, that's more than enough, I think. So we'll put 10 hours. So, um, uh, 750 calories will be burnt and that's what we have. So that's why you check if you don't know. Surely there's somebody who's unaware of that. All right. Uh, we got to go outside first, get some food. Uh, I think first we'll actually go upstairs. Drop off all this wood and then we'll go grab some wood or some food. Two words that I messed up right there with different starting letters. All right, first things first, you go over here. That's four and a half kilograms right there. Um, we're done not gonna be able to carry this load making pie, so. We can get rid of those so we're not tempted to uh, eat it <laughs> accidentally. There we go. You're actually here in Pleasant Valley yourself. No moose in Coastal Highway in far too many days. In your stay in Coastal Highway, you went through the Coastal Highway to PV Mine twice in 30 days. Ended up with 78 coal. Still need to cart a lot of your beachcombing stuff. Let's, uh, where are we? Right here. Pair that. Uh, still need to cart a lot of your beachcombed items back to Pleasant Valley. You have 10 red toolboxes in Coastal Highway and so many hatchets. Wow. We're at 56. What do we have that we don't really need? Let's get that filled. Uh, I think, you know what? I don't need that. And yes, I'm taking all of those <laughs> and that I might leave those to be honest. There's a good fishing area here. So I think I'll leave the wires. I'm never going to stop hating that <laughs> when you enter and it just uh, instantly goes to this. Uh, let's take a hundred on each of them, a full one. There we go. And we'll leave those. Uh, now what all is in here? We have another mag lens. We have matches. Um, I'm actually gonna because my my these things are getting low the fire strikers. That's good. Now I know some people would take these go energy drinks. We do have one on us. We have three stems. How much are the stems? Ten. Let's do that. That might be crazy. That might be crazy. And what do we got for wood? We have nothing for wood. Uh, that is worth a couple of sticks. All right, 58. Let's do that. 
Let's eat a pie. There we go. And we'll drink just to get our... I had two knives. I was wondering when it... Uh... When I went to repair... Oh, I do have two knives at the same... Let's put that one there. I was wondering when I went to... Uh... Repair the sled. There was an arrow by it by the knife and I thought oh okay it's gonna let me uh, repair it with my hands I guess or show me the other options even though I don't have them good eye Merd so we're gonna go to mystery lake so we can get rid of uh, these collectibles. What do we have for cent? We have two bars. Uh, from Mystery Lake. We might spend a few days in Mystery Lake to get Auroras and check for signal caches. We will obviously be on the offensive when we're out there. Nope, I got the Warden's Revolver. I picked those up before I started cooking. But yeah, we'll see if we can find some signal caches in uh, Mystery Lake. I do believe we found one already. But I can't be sure on that. And from there, we'll go to Mountain Town. Get the bunny flask. Uh, do the same thing. Kind of look for... Uh, Wait till we get a, a, at least one Aurora and walk around, see if we can get a signal on that. And just kind of do the rounds. If I didn't have this stuff, we would actually be going to Timberwolf Mountain and Ash Canyon instead, but... I just want to get this stuff transferred over. Today's word is ambivalent. I've heard that word. Which means having mixed feelings about someone or something. Being unable to choose between two usually opposing courses of action. That is, that is kind of me, isn't it? <laughs> I just want to keep an eye out for that wolf because I, I believe he did start walking towards my scent. Example, Murd is ambivalent about Nifo starting work tomorrow. On one hand, you are happy and proud of your mate. And yet you are also sad as you won't get to hang out with him and, and all of chat every day. Yeah, I'm kind of there. That's why today we're going to go a little bit longer. Um, I don't know if longer works for y'all because of where y'all are, but... I think my stream schedule is going to be, which won't work for you guys, some of you. Uh, 7 p.m. Mountain Time. That gives me more than enough time. I think I'll get home from work at 4.30. Um, it might even be 6 p.m. We'll see. I'll kind of see how I feel tomorrow and how the time works with getting home, taking Ruby out, feeding the cats, etc. And the videos on YouTube really shouldn't be affected. They should... Uh, they should just kind of 
still happen at midnight and noon depending on if you're a member of the YouTube channel or not is it a job I know Nifo or must you learn it it's well it's a it's a warehouse job there's there's parts of it that I'll have to learn because they they call it a, a CSR slash warehouse and the CSR aspect is something that I haven't really done um, I haven't had a job that required the use of a computer in Wow Jesus is cold. 25 years um, the bonus is that they use their own program and that is a benefit to me in the sense that it's not like there's somebody else out there that could have been hired instead like no matter who they hire is gonna have to be trained on it uh, I think it's very rare these days that somebody would have no commu uh, computer knowledge. We all kind of use them every day. So. They'll, uh, they'll have me in the warehouse for a month. And then after that, my job will be, uh, well, they'll train me on the CSR aspect, which will be answering phones, taking orders and such. But my... Once I'm completely trained, my job will be to take orders on the phone and go into the warehouse and pick the orders and such. Uh, it's, uh, there's only four of us. There's currently three, three people that work there right now. I will be number four. Uh, the person I'm replacing... Uh moved to a different branch of the company as they have uh, branches throughout Canada right across Canada so it's always nice to know that you're not replacing somebody that just had enough like they actually moved up and the guys that are there, they, they all seem pretty good. Everything seems pretty good. I'm excited. I am a little bit sad by losing my freedom. But it's got to be done, right? It'll be fun. Alright, I don't know that I want to stop and make a fire. I do know that what, one thing I want to do... Where is it? There we go. Um... It's midday and we have most of our condition or our alertness. Sorry. I want to get that. Uh, maybe I don't, to be honest. Yeah, Bill's getting the way of all the fun. Yeah, they do. They do. That whole food thing, too. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to get my sleep on track because then I'll have more energy at nighttime when we're looking for signal caches, right? Um, I will periodically stop and eat. Uh, unburdened is still applied. Uh oh. There we go. Go away. I'm leaving. I don't need to deal with you. I think it would be smarter to deal with them though because what happens if I get up here and there actually is a bear this time? Let's do it.
Doink. Oh. Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! <laughs> that scared me, Murd. My headsets, I was playing Phasmophobia earlier and I turned my volume in my headset a lot higher in that game. And I don't have it set anywhere close to as low as it normally is, so that was loud. <laughs> Hopefully that's the only one we have to deal with. What is, uh... Alright, 73 is our worst arrow. So we're doing good. It's gonna be a few shots before we have one that's just an arrowhead. Can I go like seriously like one day of having just all of my condition? <laughs> that would be a nice thing. By the time we get to the cave, I'm going to have lost as much condition as we had lost before we went to bed yesterday. Just after midday. I'm gonna go this way instead of cutting straight across. Alright. Get a little bit longer before Unburdened is gone. I guess I'll get the pop up on the screen that tells me it's worn off. But I don't want to go straight that way because if there is a bear, that's usually the direction he's coming from. At least my memories are. Uh, I think we're okay. What's our scent to? Alright, it looks like uh, we should get to the cave without any altercations. Oh, that's just the... Uh... Oh man, I, I hate having guns transporting them. I really hate it. <laughs> I just, all I want to do is just point. I mean, I could stop and I could do this, but... That's crows for that guy right there. I'm going to go this way again. I'm trying to get used to going up this way again. I used to go up this way all the time and now I don't. I always go up that way and I need to be reacquainted with this way. It's not difficult either, that's the funny part. There we go. You just looked up 7 p.m. mountain time. And according to Google, that is 12.30 p.m. the following day. So you should be able to jump on for parts. So for your Monday scary. stream, which would be your Tuesday, you have a dentist appointment, probably not then, but after you should be able to be in and we'll be in and out until work rig. Oh, nice. That'd be pretty cool if it actually somehow did work out. Um, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to keep the morning streams for the weekend.
just because I know some of y'all are on different parts of the world and the night streams don't really work. And I remember we did that before. It wasn't, well, I don't know if it was uh, perfect, but it was good to be able to see you guys once in a while. My only problem with streaming at night is that uh, I don't want to miss hockey games. <laughs> That's why I stream in the morning right now because there's nothing on television that I'm going to be missing. But hockey games are anywhere between 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. And it's the reason I have cable. So we might see how that goes. I might I might end up not having a designated schedule. It might be 7 p.m., 6 or 7 p.m., whatever it, it turns out to be. Um, except hockey nights, which means there wouldn't be a YouTube video the following day. And I'm okay with that, honestly, because you know what? I've been posting videos to YouTube every day. Every single day. I think I missed one day. Uh, I don't even remember what the reason was. Uh, was it? I, no, I don't even think I missed it when I was moving. But yeah. Every day for like two and a half years. And a lot of people don't, right? They're like, hey, I'll do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or I'll do Tuesday, Thursday, or whatever. So. Make sure you click the bell. I haven't figured yet how to put that little, you know like subscribe and click the bell and in my videos i haven't figured out where to get one of those for free every time i see it's like 20 bucks you gotta pay to get that there's gotta be one somewhere i don't know but click the bell that way you'll know when the videos are going Or download the Oilers hockey schedule <laughs> and just know that if they play on Tuesday, there will not be a video on Wednesday. <laughs> you think last time when I worked, uh, it was when daylight savings go the other way. Which was 10.30 a.m. for you, which is too early. Yeah, I honestly don't really remember. I remember some of you. I was able to see some of you some of the time. And I remember, I think it was the weekends were when I got to see you guys mostly. We'll see how it turns out, though. I probably should have my bow out. We have two bars of scent. Uh, yeah, let's pull that out. I actually want to eat. This is not my preferred method. Well, it is for food. It's not for water. Uh, let's do that. I think by the time we get to the dam, if it hasn't... Oh, it's already worn off now. Where's, well, you know what, though? We're not moving that bad. What is our weight? 57 out of 45. I don't know if I'm going to even bother wasting a pie. Uh, this right now is is okay. I just hit a windbreak. 
Um, but we're when we do go slow right now, it's it's primarily the wind. What is that wind? Minus seventeen. Don't worry, I'll quit flipping screens back and forth. <laughs> I, I really hate when I'm trying to look at something there and I accidentally walk into a wind block. Either way, you are uploading your base template for the notes and will pin it so it's easy to find. Okay. I probably will never actually fill it in ooh hey Darth are you there there we go that's for you Darth uh, I don't think the wolf is out Because I would have expected him to be a lot closer if he was. We have only one bar of scent now, but it's still enough with this wind to bring him closer. Oh, okay, more for them, the, the other mods, if they want to keep notes and remind me of things if they choose to do so. Okay, that's cool. Let's go to the right. We, I think the wind is coming right to left. Watch our breath. Yeah, it's kind of... I'm getting visuals that say it's going right to left, but when I breathe, my breath isn't going... It kind of is, but sometimes it's not. I don't know. Is, oh, that's a bunny up there. I don't think the wolf is around. It's time of day, it's almost, we should be, we should be at the camp office by night. I'd like to run, but I can't. It would be nice if we could use... A uh, stick and cloth to make a wind direction testing device thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like I don't know what you guys would call them. Hey, the coach, there you go. There's your view. Uh, we call them wind socks, it's like a tubular cloth thing that catches the wind. What is that? Oh, it's two sticks in honor of the former tenant of this area. <laughs> I I just think, you know what, it, I, I don't know. I know some people like always like to claim like, oh, you're going to ruin immersion if you put more stuff on the screen. I just have... Even if it was right here, just, I've already discussed the wind chill thing. Just get rid of the chill part. Just tell us the wind is 17 kilometers an hour and put the direction. Or maybe just an arrow that shows up on the screen over by the, like the bottom right where it's showing the, uh, encumbered symbol or even at the top of the screen i don't know right where that wind block shows up or maybe even just not even have it regularly up there just have that wind block symbol show up um instead of that symbol just use like the direction that the wind is blowing i don't know i'm just blurting stuff out i just i do think that sometimes it's sometimes it's pretty obvious which way the wind is blowing 
but sometimes it's not. And I think in uh, in real life, you would never have as much difficulty figuring out which way the wind was blowing as you do in the game. So it, it can be as realistic in any game that you want, but some things a person cannot do or experience via playing the game if that made any sense at all some things you would just know without no without needing anything but in the video game we don't know that Wow, are we actually going to make it to the camp office before night? Let's do that. I've never taken a screenshot of that. there I think I think hinterland has done a pretty decent job though with the wind right like obviously the way the wind works and all that they did really good forgot that was coming <laughs> I think they did good with how the wind works and everything I think it just needs a little bit of work to carry this load for much longer for allowing you to know the direction I don't even know what they should do for that I was just like I said I was just blurting ideas out But I do think it should be kind of obvious to the player. Um, I don't think you should have to... For instance, when you're about to harvest a, a, a moose or a bear. I don't think you should have to go all the way around the animal trying to figure out which way the wind is blowing. I'm not dawdling in here, I'm just going because we're obviously getting pretty close to nighttime and I do not want to get trapped in the bottom due to an aurora. That would suck too because we would be like, hmm, we got a lot of alertness remaining and we could be out looking for signal caches but we're stuck down here at the fire pit has anybody actually ran like what the hell we'll relocate that too has anybody actually ran across the wires surely it's not instant death right it's only if you get stuck on them you just end up with burns that you have to repair. Lose probably a fair amount of condition. But like if we if we got hit with an aurora right now, are we are we actually stranded down here or or those wires in the hall? Can we just run over them? 
you died instantly my only experiment was went on there and i i got stuck though and i wasn't exactly sciencing it i was just impatient trying to get over them Like, are you able to walk right over these? Do those pipes make it so that you don't even get burnt? I don't know. You've never tried to go on the wires either, Merd. Yeah, it's, it's kind of something you avoid doing. Oh my. Well, this stuff's all useless here. I'm leaving the bedrolls. I'm not taking them. Uh, let's eat up. I think now we can burn off a pie. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, you know what else? Uh, where are you? Right there. We'll do that. And it's only a, a wee little bit. I can barely walk with this much gear. Oh, that's where you died? Was those, uh, the wires in the hallway there? I'm gonna walk with my bow, because now we have two revolvers. Are we still at actually, we're just under full capacity. Yeah, we better hurry. It's getting late. I could throw down the sled, but. Oh, can I get a shot off on this guy? Ah, this is where. Aha. Uh -huh. That's where that comes into play. Give him a few seconds to change direction. I hope he heard that and went after it. Yep. All right. It's going to be painfully slow, but I'm crouching. I want to get a hit on him before he sees me. If I can. Oh. Well. That ain't the first arrow that went running away in us. Hopefully. I don't normally check wolves. 347. He's number 347. Yeah, it's just... When you're heavy and you're crouched, you move extremely slow, and he was angling himself, so... It was hard. We'll get that arrow back. Actually, I gotta pay attention. I need to get another rock. See, and right there, that's, there he is. There's a rock. That's exactly why I need to get into the habit of carrying a rock. Now he's in flight mode. Will he actually go after the deer? 
And should I have a heart? In that, you know he's gonna die. Should we just give him his final meal? I mean, we do it for... Disgusting human beings. Why wouldn't we do it for a wolf that was just chilling? Oh, there we go. That was like a reverse chase for a bit there, eh? Murd wants a stretch. Good timing. Uh, oh. There we go. Thanks, Murd. We have four. I didn't bother checking for more birch bark just because we're so heavy. We'll come back. We're going to be here for probably a few days. That's what I am guessing. Right, let's put that away so that we... Uh, for anybody new, the reason I do that is so that I, I'm continually wearing down the same arrow. So I don't have like 20 arrows that are all at like 17% and just constantly breaking. I like to wear down one at a time, if possible. I'm not going to take another rock. Actually, I am going to do that just in case there's a wolf right here. And I'll do it right there as well. We do have scent. We could be bringing them over here. So my, my thinking for this stream, like I mentioned earlier, yeah, that's the one we found, right? I want to drop some heavy stuff so I can just walk over there. Uh, 48%. Okay, we can walk. That's the one we found last time, isn't it? So I remembered correctly that we have actually found one out here. Yes, yes, yes. There she be. Uh, yeah, so my, my plan for this stream, I said we're going to go longer. Uh, what I'm going to do is at the two hour mark. Uh, I'm going to take, I don't know, maybe, maybe up to 10 minute break. And, uh, that'll give me time to take Ruby out. That's usually the first thing I do right after a stream. Take her out. And refresh my coffee. And then we'll, uh, carry on from there. And we'll, I don't even know how long we're going to go. Depends on who's here. And if they want me to. Uh, that should be far enough. Yep. <laughs> Dang it. Two of those because I want to throw another one.
I didn't really want to get one right now because we're going to waste a bunch of our time. I mean, we're kind of checking right now, right? Uh, this just started, so it's not going to be operational. But... Ah, oh, man. I kind of wanted a day to, to go out and maybe clear some of the predators away. Oh, oh, oh. Little bunny. Run, run. Oh. That rabbit is not big enough for me to get that far. You think uh, there's a signal by the broken tower and you think past the three trailers there can be a signal. I like this shot. Oh, damn it. Let go. Oh, damn it. That's another one. <laughs> oh, well, at least we got our previous arrow. Now, we had nothing to do with your death. We do respect your sacrifice, but you don't get my sticks. Do I even have sticks to offer up? No, I don't. Well... Oh, I was, uh... We gotta eat one of those. Why does it almost sound like a blizzard? Oh, right, right, right. We gotta be on our toes. We can get a green bear. Minus 21 on the wind. I have to take sticks. There we go. There's a second. Just in case. That way if a bunny gives his life for us, we can give him some respect. You know, one thing they could do for the wind direction is just make the... I don't know how that would work, though. Do these things even... These don't rotate with you. No, they're not like the individual plants. Just make the grass... I mean, it looks like it's going that way. Maybe it's already doing it. Maybe I'm just going to shut up about it. How about that? Alright. So the way the radio works is if we do encounter a signal, it should make a sound. Whether it's in our hand or not. If it happens to make a sound before we get to the camp office, we are going to still continue to the camp office so we can ditch this stuff. And then we'll come right back out. The temperature is not that bad. It's only minus seven. All right, I do still have a rock. I was kind of hoping that getting a wind block would help us, but it's not really. I 
I thought I heard like a, a you know the bear going mm -hmm. but maybe it was just like an owl or something the ambient owl when I can ditch this vest. <laughs> Does the vest give you any warmth? No, it doesn't. You gotta love the auroras though. There's something they definitely don't need to work on. They done well. They did well on an awful lot of things, let's be honest. I wouldn't be playing this game non-stop every day for like, what, three years at this point? If it actually sucked. You know what I'm going to do. I want that sign. I like when the sign is lit up. Come on, give me a good light. Give me a good light. I can't sit here all day. That didn't work. Ah, there we go. Good enough. Let's get inside. Yes, you did say this pack is getting too heavy to carry. <laughs> hey, guess what? Play the funky music. Is that a new one? Nope. Same one. All right. I've never had that before. Where... They're saying something, but it's interrupted, and now they're saying something different. All right, noisemakers. Uh, these things actually get placed rather nicely. I mean, they could be a lot better. I think I did these real quick. We got some noisemakers, though. Go there. How many do we have there? We have six. I need like a sliver. There we go. <laughs> there you murdered. That would be murdered. Murdered's burn. Last one. Good enough. All right. Uh, right there. We'll drop these. Um, you know what? Let's drop you. A to Z, boy. A to Z. Where are we? Uh, we only have three. Let's 
do that. Where's my guns at? This is the display area. I have bows instead of guns. Have I not brought a single, a single gun to this location? There's our gold nugget. There's our flashlights. Uh, where are you? That's that one. Look at them. There's like, what? Seven? Wow. Okay, well, I guess... I guess, uh... That we need to get rid of. With this much gear. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm such a fool. I'm not even thinking. I usually put guns over here. I did. I did. I did. You can go under there. All right. Uh, wardens can go right here. Is that... That is the foresters, okay. We'll do that. You can actually just go over here. As I only brought you because in case the trader's like, hey, give me a gun and I'll do this. Put you guys over here. Uh we're fully warm, so we can head out. We're at 50. Uh, for the time being, let's just drop our, our pot and our skillet up here. <laughs> We've never done anything stupid like left them behind, so we can definitely do that. <laughs> Uh, and then I think I'll just dump some stuff in here that I don't need. It's for weight purposes. Uh, why is that extra? Oh. We have lots of coffee and tea. Uh, one, four, one. Coach will get a kick out of this. Drop a hooks. And hey. What happened? It wouldn't let me switch. There we go. It wouldn't let me switch items. Oh no. Where's all my shells? What have I done? Oh, I can drop. You know what? Will these all fit? I don't think so, right? I'll get rid of those. And... Yeah, that's good. Hey, TP Rim, how are you doing? Uh, let's eat. Oh. No. Now I got two partials. So you think by the broken tower and by the triple trailers, triple trailers, three trailers. It's 
been a bit since you've been here. Kind of got burned out by the long dark. So you've been taking a break. Also, the DLC seemed to make everything kind of complicated. That's kind of like I felt that way about the the food and the recipes. Some people really like them. I always figured there was far too many. And obviously I have video of myself being absolutely confused whilst cooking. <laughs> there we go. This is fun stuff though. We got wolves up ahead. I'm going in here because I don't know exactly where this is, but do I have coffee? I have two coffees that are made. That was an absolute waste, but whatever, I did it. Oh, really? It gave me all of it except for 0.01. I think we gotta go in here. I probably should have left the carry pies. for the best, right? Scaring them doesn't do anything. Not anything good for us. Forbidden airfield or the Forsaken airfield is decent, although you think it's a bit too open for your liking. You've only been a contamination zone, and the wolves and radiation kind of made it difficult for you. It, it, my opinion on the airfield has greatly changed. Um, I actually used to think that it was unfinished originally because it just seemed empty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, get that out of there. Um, but now I, I, I kind of like the airfield. The openness is what creates one of the challenges of the region. There's no landmarks. It's really hard. Uh, if your visibility decreases, you can get in trouble real quick. Doink. So I, I actually like the zone, uh, or sorry, the Forsaken Airfield. Zone of Contamination, my only biggest complaint is I wish you could have a way of repairing the gas or something in in the mine oh my god he scared the hell out of me thank you i'll take uh i wish the mine could be somewhere that you could go after you're done with the uh the, the tail and not have to worry about the gas because it's most i think the coolest areas in that region are the mine Am I crazy in thinking that it's up here? 
Like when Murd said that it's by the tower, is he like really right up at the tower? And I don't know if you uh, TP, I don't know. If you've played on the Sundered Pass map, uh, I actually really like that one. I don't know if I should go up higher. Uh, don't direct me right to it though, anybody. Not yet anyways. <laughs> I would like to try to figure this out for myself. Is it right by the plane, possibly? I don't know. We'll see. You can go down there. You probably could. But anyway, back to back to what you were saying there, uh, TP. I mean, I call you Rem. I think Rem is what you asked me to call you before, but I have a terrible memory. Um, as far as the recipes go, like I've said numerous times, I think they're, they're too complicated. Uh, but the beauty of them is you don't actually have to use them. Uh, go through them one day and just kind of look at what you think you might want the, and what might be the easiest one. And just stick with that. That's what I've done. Um, I like when they do stuff like that. They they have added something that I don't have to use. But other people who like it can use it. I think that's uh, the best way to do it, really. It's the easiest way to, to try to please everybody. Uh, I only really make the one recipe, honestly. And yeah, the acorns are by far the most annoying of any of the recipes because of how many things you have to do with them. That's why we don't make them. Except for when we want a fancy cup. That's the funny part. The most annoying overdrawn process Gives you the best looking cup. Well, the Aurora end before Nifo gets the signal cash. Apol says Ja. Hey. If the Aurora ends before I get bit, I'll be happy. There's a wolf right there. I got a good mind to go get him. Let's do it. I bet you right here. There it is. No. <laughs> well, I hit him. I definitely hit him. Oh, and my arrow broke. Perfect. I can't feel my feet. 
Perfect. Hey, Mr. Coach. Does anyone know what the help time it is? No. My phone tells me it's 1022. My microwave tells me it's 1122. I hate daylight savings. Um, actually, that's where I was supposed to go up. So I'm going up and around. I don't know. Is this the... Uh, I guess this would be the... Uh, initially, I thought it was the broken... Oh, actually, no. The broken tower is that way. This would be the three trailers. Your phone says 1222. Yeah, but you're in a different time zone. <laughs> Doink. I literally am tilting my head because gamers are idiots that do that type of thing when we get immersed. <laughs> this is a separate signal. I no, I think this is the same one that I'm going for. I just think that this one's going to end up being around the three trailers in that area somewhere who knows maybe they put this one where the old bunker used to be i just want to get over this hill before i've never felt so Whoops. cold The good thing is the the areas that Murd pointed out are pretty close. Oh man, this sucks. Glastrid's gonna be damaged. Oh no, I'm right up here again. Is it by the plane? I think it's by the plane. There's a pilot ditched to stash. Oh, maybe it's not by the plane. by the plane. Come on. Make this a ramp, please. It's right there. Come on, Astrid. We're there. Look what I found. And then it's like way up there. I'm still stuck. I hate this one. They need to make that easier to get up a little bit. This stuff will come in handy. Oh. Alrighty then. Feels like zero. Damn it. So I would say that would be the one that is by the three trailers. 
Um, oh, the aurora is over. Well, in that case, let's go up because we're closest. If I can find my way. What time did it end? It ended at midnight. Like midnight. The middle of the night. Well, we got one. Which actually is two. Uh, we'll stick around for another Aurora. We'll see if we can get a signal by uh, by the Broken Tower. Um, I don't hate what was in there. There wasn't a lot. That's almost not enough just for the pain in the butt it is to climb up that little embankment. But whatever, it's useful. At least it wasn't a rifle. <laughs> I like that. You come up and it's a straight shot right to the... Right to the steps. Un unlike the one in Coastal Highway where you have to walk around to the other side to get to the steps. I think that one's kind of backwards. Is there anything out here? Oh, okay. Astrid sure could use that soap. I think that's soap. Alright, let's uh... Let's eat up and go to bed. Um, actually I should check. How much condition? Okay. Because we have so much tea, I'm gonna drink one. Eat that. And go to bed. What noise? That must have been your headphones glitching. See, I wish Murd, I wish they would randomize the signal caches, right? In, in that you don't know what you're going to get in each one because in the future I'm gonna think oh if I get that signal I'm just not gonna go to it but lucky for me I have a horrible memory so I probably won't remember to not go after it there's a loud static noise right in, in your right ear it hurt your brain that might be your headset maybe Oh, look at it. It's almost nighttime. We must get out of here. We must. We must. Let's go. Uh, let's pull that out. We have one bar of scent. Uh, we gotta listen for... Oh, by the lake. Hopefully it clears up. Uh, we also have another arrow out on the loose. Actually, no, we don't. That one broke. So we only have the one arrow running around. Let's see if we can find it before it's too late and that wolf despawns. Okay, we still have a rock. 
If they weren't so heavy, I would actually start collecting rocks and make a rock cache somewhere, but man, is it heavy. All right, unfortunately, there's no crows. Uh, we got two of you. We got nine. Okay. You may need to get new headphones soon. Yeah, I unfortunately had to get new ones just recently. And I wasn't terribly happy about it because my PlayStation headset lasted like over five years. And they uh, basically they didn't stop working. I, I just was taping them. The headband broke eventually. They were held together with tape. And then one day I said, OK, quit being such a cheapskate. Go buy some new ones. And I got when the PS5 came out, I got the the Steel Series Steel Series headset. That is, what is it? The Arctis Seven is the one that they they pair up with the uh, the PlayStation. And I really really liked them until they only lasted me two years. And one of the ear cups kept crapping out the left ear, actually. And what are the ones I'm using? I like these ones. The ones I'm using now are Corsair, what is it, H70 or something like that? H70 Bluetooth. You're too close to each other. Okay, maybe you're not too close. Um, here's what I like about these ones. Um, I like that when I'm wearing them and I'm talking, I can actually hear myself talking. Like my, like not through the headphones, but my Steel Series, if you remember, I had issues early on when I first started doing commentary because I couldn't hear how loud I was talking and it drove me nuts. Yeah, I don't think these ones have noise canceling. I'm not sure if they do. And honestly, if if you need to talk, uh, it's probably best to not get that feature. Unless you just really don't care and you just talk loudly all the time anyway. But I'm typically a, a, a fairly quiet talker. So I really like these. Now, I will say I don't think they're nearly as comfortable as the Steel Series ones. And the Steel Series ones were not exactly like high end. Like they were just the ones that they were for the PlayStation 5 but they were they were pretty comfy I'll even say my my old PlayStation headset that thing was comfy too this one's a little stiff but overall it's pretty good Oh, I thought I was hearing crows, and I keep getting the music or something else. And I'll, I'll be honest, this, this headset might have noise cancellation. I just haven't looked into the app enough to care. <laughs> They're good enough. Oh, oh, is that our wolf? I mean, my arrow? Is that my arrow?
I think it is. Now I'm kind of a fool. I mean, we do have one. You know what? We can remedy that real quick. I was going to say I'm kind of a fool by not actually having scent. But we can get some scent off of this guy. Thank you. There's those stupid pies. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, right. We're doing it this way. We're 0.5 in it. <laughs> There's those stupid pies. Time number one for this stream. <laughs> They're no bear. I just looked. <laughs> Way to go, coach. You done scared the crows away. Right, now to, yeah, see, remember when I wanted all the pies to drop individually and they wouldn't? I got two bars. Actually, it wasn't that they wouldn't drop. It's like they wouldn't pick up now, oh, man. Okay, well, I'm at, I need more. I'm just gonna take six pieces that are at 0.5 that's three kilograms and i hate to say that what do i got one damn it two three damn it four okay i need two more i'm not relying on pie scent There we go. That'll give us three bars. What I'm going to do is in the future, I'm going to look for a deer. So that, look at that. Yay. So that I don't have this predator meat raw i want if if i'm gonna be carrying raw meat i would rather it be something that at worst is just gonna give me food poisoning oh look at them all tempted because they got you know big fat juicy buck but i'm also gonna waste the meat in a sense that i'm gonna be 0.5 it if i if i can get this guy i'll just 0.5 and i will drop the wolf meat uh, you volunteered bud Uh, there. I think this is the safest way to do it.
That way, yeah, if I, if I mistakenly eat the meat, you know, the worst I'll get is food poisoning. We can cure that overnight. It's not a big deal. But we saw last time where I got intestinal parasites. That was a pain in the butt. I accidentally ate the wolf meat. That I was carrying purely for scent. Oh, Rem. Rem's joining in now. I hear something over that way to my left. Oh, okay, I'm just hearing that. Okay. What do we got? Four? Yeah, two more. Two more. Well, one more after this, I guess, right? And then we can just harvest the rest of it proper like. So we're not wasting the deer. We'll take the hide as well because that's what we do. Um, you know what? I'll take 8.5. We don't need the guts. do that oh i'm a fool we're only at 46 i should not have wasted a pie well let's not waste the meat i don't know isn't it what is it stalker pie or something like that that takes wolf meat Those sound alerts really do work well when when they happen at the right time. Like when there's a, a delay from when a person's trying to use it. That's unfortunate. But when they when they work when you guys are intending it to work. That's just awesome. Yeah, we have uh, we have a cougar sound as well, and we don't have a cougar in the game anymore currently, yet. Uh, but the thing with the cougar is, hey, Mr. Coach, thank you for the gift sub. That's number thirty-four. Thank you, Coach. Uh, the thing with the cougar though is it, it's not to scare me like oh my god there's a cougar it's loud so it just scares you because of the loudness the volume <laughs> no ads for NIFO yeah Now you can't leave, Rem. It's getting dark out here. You're stuck here for stuck. the remainder of the stream. <laughs> uh, you you may have to refresh your your browser though. Just to, I think sometimes w when a person gets a sub or whatever, they still might get ads unless they refresh. All right, let's go over here. What is... Oh, that's my footstep. Really? Wow. Those have been there for a while. What are you? 
You're a full kilogram. You're a full kilogram. Why are you over here? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Is there any reason why that's there? Point fives are right there. Good enough. And we got to get rid of one of these. Actually, we got to get rid of all of the one kilogram pieces. Let's go by weight. Go like this. I know I could turn it. I just kind of liked where my finger was on my mouse. <laughs> uh, let's go there. Let's try and make them even so that if something comes along and takes one, we'll know. All right, and then we have an extra 0.5 that we didn't need. <laughs> wow. You have, I literally jumped in my boots. I'm not even wearing boots, Merd. Remember I told you my, my headset's louder than it normally is? <laughs> Let's go this way. Coach jumped too. Nifo makes like 28 cents a month on ads. Yeah, but it's more than I make off of YouTube. Those greedy bastards don't give me a penny. I I actually have a big hate right now for YouTube and their 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 greed of pushing ads. The billion dollar company that made it without pushing ads on their YouTube platform. And I swear right now, they have more interest in you watching the ads than actually watching the content. I wouldn't mind if they put ads and they weren't shady about it. But throwing 51 second ads at me to watch a 30 second video you know where you can stick it. I am honestly, I'm not a fan of YouTube right now. Google, you can, you know what? Because you don't pay me a single penny. And there's my rent. <laughs> I feel sorry for the content creators because unless you're already big time, uh, I'll, People will watch ads from big time streamers. They're not watching ads for a guy like me. And what it ends up happening is that somebody will watch until the ad comes and then they're like, screw that. I'm not doing that because they think that I have anything to do with the ads. I don't have anything. I don't place the ads there. Google does that. And I think they're they're killing their own platform with greed and dirtiness. And they can suck it. Rent over. And I'll, I'll actually, sorry, <laughs> not mini rent anymore. Yeah, I'll actually let you I'll continue on for a minute about that. Um, where was I going to go with it now? Oh, they, their, their, their hope is that you'll buy YouTube Premium. And I'll tell you right now, I don't care what company you are. Being a jerk the way you're being does not make me think, ooh, I should spend my money on them. It just makes me say, okay, I'll just go somewhere else because you can... You know what? There we go. Now I'm done. YouTube, kiss my butt. 
If I had a if I had a sensor button, I would actually say what I wanted to say. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's overtime. All right. Let me get somewhere safe. I'm going to go into the trailer. The trailer. That's a caboose. I'm going to go in here and uh, I'm going to take, like I said, it's going to be about 10 minutes of a break. Uh, I learned my lesson last time. Close the door. Hey, everyone. I'm back. Sorry about that. All right, let's. Uh, let's eat. And let's drink. We're going to crouch when we go out. Well, we got the three bars of scent. We don't have an Aurora though, but... We'll see. We'll go, uh... I don't know. I guess we'll spend the night in trailers if uh, we can attract any wolves. We'll take them out. seeing any wolves at all and we don't obviously have an aurora so hopefully we'll get one tomorrow night you're still here and listening doing your before bedtime stuff i appreciate that Mert. hey oh that's not a that's not a hey <laughs> that's a real one Right, let's go. Doink. How's our clothing and such? 84, 85, 89. Okay, 82. Uh, bedroll is 96. Two broken arrows. Refill that. That'll get rid of the... That actually took it all too good. Not getting that little bug where it won't take all of it. some sticks while we're walking up to the trailers I believe that one's got a bed I can't actually remember you know what just for kicks I'm gonna go in this one and actually pay attention as to whether or not there's a bed I think there is in this one yeah there's lots of beds and we'll check this one Got lots of beds in here. And we'll check the other one. I believe the other one has a bed. Maybe. Maybe not. Wait a second. That's the one I just came from. It's kind of wondering why there was footsteps to it. What are you? Okay. Yeah, we got a bed. Okay. I'll just drink and go to sleep. There we go. We're going to wake up early, but you know what? Okay, well, I guess not. <laughs> I was going to say, you know what? It might not be too bad. Because there might be an aurora when we wake up still, but no. Well, 
We don't have any food aside from the carry pies and I'm not going to eat the cattails. We have food. We just don't have it here. And can I find my way out of here? No. That's the bed. So it should be this way, right? Am I even close enough? I should just light the lantern. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was... Oh, okay. I didn't realize there was beds on both sides. I should have looked around. Let's go. We'll just continue doing what we were doing. Still got the three bars. No Aurora. What's the wind? Minus 15. So we got three bars and a good wind, so... Let's make our way to the camp office. Actually, you know what? Why? I got deer meat right here, and I believe those are all one kilogram. Grab these sticks. Drop that. Drop everything. Get ourselves some cedar. We're gonna lose a touch of condition here. Wow, it's like it got darker. Alright, we got six, we got our pie. Be careful. Uh, visibility right now is absolutely horrible. But we can just make a fire in here. Probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it. Ah! Look at that, we get rid of the book too. Hello darkness, my old friend. Exactly. Rem is still also here doing some chores. That's totally fine. I appreciate it, Rem. Oh, damn it. Uh, where am I looking? Okay. Ooh, that was really close. Two. There's three. Which one of you is one? That one. Alright. Let's move these. My sound is all of a sudden slightly delayed. And I don't like that. That's a relatively new thing. Uh, 32. Well. Throw one of those. That should be enough. It's minus eight. Uh, you know what I should do? Drop that so we don't have any scent. Oh, where did it go? Oh. Did not drop where I was expecting it to drop. Okay, we're warming up now. Uh, 25 minutes. What can we do? 25 minutes. 27 works. We'll eat that one. Forty minutes, one thirty. Uh, I don't want to use my one piece of leather.
18 minutes. We'll do that. Looks like a new day is dawning. Check the meat. 18 minutes. Can we get these in 18 minutes? Yep. Perfect. Oh, wait a second. Do I have anything? You know what? Oh, dang it. I don't have any pots or cans because I dropped them. But we can do that. That'll work. Uh, what's our weight? Oh, okay. We're underweight, so that's okay. Oh, no. Oh, let's see if we can get this wolf before. Actually, let's see if we can get him over here. This is kind of a sketchy area. Will he come right in here? How long is this fire? An hour. Okay. Damn. I didn't realize there was two. When I heard the wolf howl over there, I thought it was this guy had given up on me. Man, they brought the whole pack. Doink. I got a lump right here that I'm on. I gotta watch it. Let's go. Doink. Let's warm up a bit. It's not like me to forget my pots. You know what? And I actually intentionally said when I put them on the fire, it's like, it's not like I've ever forgotten them, right? I, in my defense though, I haven't actually forgotten them. I intentionally didn't want to carry the weight. I knew as soon as I realized I didn't have them, I knew exactly where they were and why I left them there. Well, it's not exactly a forgetting them situation, but kind of forgetting that I had left them behind. Well, we got rid of three of the wolves. Three more. The ground over by that fire is kind of garbage because it's so lumpy. Like, I... I Ideally, I would have hoped that I could get them a little bit closer to the fire. So that I could harvest. And not lose a lot of temperature. But right now, I'm kind of hoping that we're not hindered by the wind too much. Cause it seems like we're gonna about to get a blizzard and I'd like to make it to the camp office before we get a blizzard yeah that kind of surprised me I thought it was just the one wolf and I thought when I backed into the the cabin I thought he gave up on me and had started walking away I didn't realize there was multiple wolves there. Um, I still want to go over and have a peek for birch bark. Here, let's put that away. We can still do it. And then come back out here because I don't want to walk that way again. 
uh, across the ice. So I want to come back this way. We have some good winds, so I'm hoping that brings out some birch bark. My, I don't know if it's even a, the way the game works, but I believe for myself, I believe that when it's windy, that's when sticks and birch bark appear. <sighs> sure getting cold. It might not. I'm gonna go double check this body. I'm pretty sure we've already checked it. I'm not gonna take any arrows. I'll take the stick though. Oh, sorry. I'm not gonna take any feathers. As we have a, a bunch. Or, uh, do I still have them? I only have four on me. Okay. Do I? If at home, we'll warm up soon. Oh, that sucks. I'm not even seeing any on the side of this hill. Usually there's at least one on the side. Maybe it's only there when you're on top of it. Luring you. Come break your ankle and get this piece. Wow, there's... None. One. Okay, we got one. And we get one more. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And look what we got. What is this guy? Can you stop in a good spot, please? Thank you. I'm not obviously going to harvest him in this weather. We'll come back. You know what? Let's just go to the trailers. They're closer. We have a book we can read while we're in there. Uh, we went in that one last time, right? Let's go in this one. Nothing on the floor. Break that down, get a little bit of wood as well, I guess. Um, 27 minutes, but you get six pieces. Let's do that. And that'll warm us up completely. I'm also going to do that. All right, let's go. Sounds like the weather is cleared up. We do still have to uh, get ourselves over to the camp office and grab some more water. And I think maybe our pot and skillet. Only one arrow down. Minus four. I think we could probably harvest that buck. And do so without losing any condition. It's possible. Um, still minus four. I 
I think when we get to the camp office, I'm also going to uh, drop these pies. I'll keep one. But that way I don't have to always worry. Ooh, 12 and a half is what we're going to take. And a hide. Man, we got deer hides all over the place. We have so many deer hides. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. Ooh, it's zero. Do that. Uh, I don't think we need to eat a pie, but... Yeah, we're still moving pretty good. Okay, I did not want to go that way. I want to go this way. We got three bars of scent now. How many sticks? 20. And... Piece of tinder. I know what to do with that tinder. Do that. Good enough. Alright. This is Maglen's weather. Nice sunny day, and look at that. We're gaining temperature now. Just drinking my coffee, but I want these sticks. You know what? I'm going to take the feathers. We have a lot of feathers. Um, was there one more, I thought? Okay, maybe not. Uh, we have a lot of feathers, but why not just grab what there is and uh, drop them off. When we get to the the camp office, we do have to go. What, what is it? It's midday. We do have to go to the ca uh, trapper's cabin. That's actually our base. Uh, so maybe we'll grab some of the stuff. Uh, the hides and guts will leave. The uh, like any of the curable stuff will leave. But uh, hmm, I wonder if I should. Well, you know what. There's a crafting table, a workbench. We'll grab the arrow stuff. We'll leave the hides and guts. Because I believe we have hides and guts as well at the trapper's cabin. Uh, we'll continue to carry three bars of scent. I'll leave the meat here at the cabin, the camp office. Yes, the more the merrier. Order life, yeah. How many ptarmigan do we have? Oh, I got to remember. I forgot. We have three ptarmigan there. That need to be harvested. I don't want those to go to waste. Let's put that away. Uh, I'm just thinking harvesting those three ptarmigan is going to take us to almost to nighttime, basically. What is it, like an hour 22 each? Something like that? Like four hours? And it's about six hours. 
maybe even eight hours wouldn't that be i mean there's 24 hours in a day so every quarter of that horizon is eight hours look at the sticks dude i'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer So yeah, like, I don't know. I think maybe I don't want to waste good weather though. It's not often you get the good weather, right? I think we're going to harvest them though. Um, I'd rather harvest them and just leave all the ptarmigan meat outside with the others rather than have to carry them all the way to the trapper's cabin because of the weight my estimation is that the sun on that horizon should be about halfway where it's at now that's my estimation which should give us enough time to get to the trapper's, trapper's cabin. Um, hopefully deal with a couple of wolves, possibly, I guess. Maybe even a bear. And give us enough time to start heading this way before night. But I might be wrong. Rem wants coffee and a stretch. All right. Here we go. There's the coffee. stretch thanks Ram oh whoops hey wrong button how do you just leave a big fat juicy buck how you know how because you've got a plan already you don't need to meet let's just go Damn, that slurp was juicy. See, that's what happens when my coffee's full and I get the slurps. <laughs> I usually don't get them until later in the stream, which technically it's later, but it's also earlier because I did take the break and refill it. It's a lot harder to slurp a cup that's got like an inch or two in it than it is when it's nice and full i will say though it's not good coffee it's instant i went up for my break there was no coffee i had to do the instant thing okay you guys are all ones right yeah uh we'll do that Oh, that is so, so frustrating. The sound being off by like a second, it just... So annoying. And I don't know what causes that. I don't know if it's an issue with the game where I paused it. And so now it's like... You took a break from us. We're going to screw you over. I don't know. It was like I pick up the meat. And I don't hear the sound of picking up the meat or dropping it for about a, about a full second. Uh, it's also dangerous because if you encounter a wolf at that period.
Sorry, sneezing. All right, deer hides. We got two of you. Thirty-one sticks. Actually, I'll take that. Um, all of this actually has to go. It all actually has to go. Um, what doesn't have to go is the wood. That's 465 right there. Uh, we don't really have any other wood um, aside from these three. I'm going to keep one. Yeah, I'll keep the one. Uh, yeah. I'm going to take all of that. Um, I'll drop the hides and guts down here. You know what? One pile. Uh, we'll put the one pile right up here. A to Z. There's nine. And then guts can go... Right there. Oh boy, coffee and tea. We got a little bit of coffee here. We're probably gonna have to utilize one of them pies. We're at 50. That's actually not too bad, all things considered. I want to double check, make sure you. Arrow shafts. How many arrow shafts do we have? 49. Uh, we have a broken arrow. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Right, you guys. What was that again? Oh, just two flares. You know what? I can leave them here. Um, I just don't have to leave them in a locker. That way I'm not going to continue. You know me. I'm going to forget what actually was in there. Uh, do that. And these are all bad. Oh, wow. 73. Forty two and forty three we can drop. We gotta go. Oh and I forgot that's ninety eight, that's good. Where's my tarm again? Okay. Did they seriously despawn? How long does it take for them to despawn? I'm going to eat that. Why not? Yeah, there's the vest. Pack is getting too heavy to carry. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about the time again. That sucks. I thought they would be like three days. Are, are like larger animals maybe three days and like ptarmigan and rabbits will disappear after 
little bit of time. I just heard a ptarmigan. Uh, what do we have for down? 17. We don't need it. I'd be really bothered if I actually desperately needed some down, but... Oh well. All we lost on those ptarmigan was basically the arrow degradation in the bow. And I would have been actually wrong because I kind of thought even if we harvested them, our sun would be halfway from, you know, between the straight up and the horizontal. Which is fairly close to where it's at now. And I think if we would have harvested them, then we'd probably be into or or knocking on the door of night. So maybe it's a good thing that they disappeared. I got to look good by getting all three of them. Yeah, I'm going to pat my back right there. <laughs> nice vest. Yeah, coach. Bashrobe, welcome in and thank you for the raid. Welcome in, uh, Raiders, Silvius, Auntie Sarah, Gearhead. Welcome in, everyone. This is my custom interloper run. Uh, Murd, if you could put the rules or the settings, I would appreciate that. Hey, Cassandra. Uh, we're kind of killing some time here in mystery lake we're you know what this run is almost basically done really the only thing we have to do left is go back to mountain town and get the the bunny flask um we found all the gun variants we found the bow variants we found uh, or grabbed the the vest and such we finished all the tails now basically what we're doing is going through each region because i'm trying to kill some time i don't want to start a new run and then you know have like a few weeks or maybe a month later have the update come out i want to have a run that's actually already going so that for once i can experience the update when it happens instead of two months later <laughs> So we're walking around with scent, trying to lure out any of the predators so we can take them away. Um, this is why I call it custom interloper because it's primarily interloper settings. Uh, we change uh, the moose to maximum, but we're not actually finding very many moose. Uh, we took a shot in the dark because fishing in Interloper really is not very good. And there's no fishing slider anymore. So we thought maybe they were somehow added to like rabbits. So we increased that, but that was not correct. Uh, so what we're doing now is basically looking for signal caches in each of the regions. And so we are walking around with three bars of scent to try to lure out predators to make it a little safer. You're hoarding supplies in the hunting lodge? Nice. They can be fun. We found one here that was just like, really? <laughs> Forget about having to go out during the Aurora to find it. it. I don't think it contained enough for the hassle of getting to it. It was literally like a book, not even a readable book, just a book. 
and one flare shot. <laughs> Oh, you had a question, but it wasn't answered before the raid. You wanted to know if you were okay with sharing how you set up the on-screen alerts for bits, followers, etc. That is a uh, script in OBS. So what you see at the top of the screen is actually six different scripts. There's two scripts for each category. And you have to download uh, the, a page on stream elements. If you just, uh, it'd probably be way more accurate uh, if you Googled uh, using scripts on OBS than if I tried to explain it. Because I would probably screw it up. But yeah, you have to, on top of making the scripts, you also have to, uh, and it's, it's not terribly difficult, uh, but on top of having those, you also have to download a certain page from Stream Elements. Is this Stream Elements or Stream Labs? I think it's Stream Labs. And in order for those to update, uh, that has to be open. while you're streaming i like it because it's nice and clean uh you see some of the overlays i think sometimes they get in the way and i just don't feel like going through them all to find one that's nice and plain that i like Here we are. Is it? It's almost nighttime. Hopefully, it clears up. Oh, you're welcome. I'm not sure I can carry much more. All right, you are Maple. You can go there. Uh, what else was in there? Oh, I have a bear hide. Why did I bring that? I don't need it. I got another one right there. All right, you guys can hang out there. Uh, you're not red yet. You've not been red. Let's. Am I gonna see these? Yep. Okay. Just kind of separate them a little bit. Can I get the middle one? No. Okay. Please. All right, that works. Uh, what do I have now? Uh, 10 cloth. You know what? I can throw all of y'all in there. Uh, arrow shafts can all go in there. And let's throw all these hooks. We have an awful lot of fishing tackle we don't need. And on the ground seems to be... Make sure you're full. You're at 93. Let's fail you. Not fail. Let's fill. <laughs> and we'll go A to Z and drop... Uh, I'm going to keep that zero six. All right. And now what else do we have? Uh, oh, right. Oh, if I had the time to do it, you can't be here to be honest and you can, but you shouldn't be right there. All right. Coffee. Uh, Drop all of the coffee here. 
Our coffee and tea is finally where it's supposed to be. Wish there was an easier way. This is why I wish that coffee and tea didn't have conditions attached to them. Just let them stack in one big old pile. Because this is kind of annoying. Okay, I'll keep four. Uh, right there. And we'll drop a lot of the tea. Uh, five, five. You know what? I wish I would have paid attention to that. I would have kept that box of four and that single. All right, two and one. That's good. All right. And what else do we have here? 23 on the fire strikers. What's... Oh, we have much better fire strikers. Let's take those. 54, 54. That way we don't have to take you. I got three of you. What's all in here? That is... Look at that. We have 18 of these. We left some in Blackrock, I believe. That's how many extras there are. There's about 20 or so extras, and we have at least two more of these. And we've repaired all of the towers. Uh, what we don't need is all of those. And there it is. Uh, so we can leave any of you. All right, do we have food that we can eat? You. I'm just making good and sure that's a cooked. I don't want to look like an idiot. Oh, right, 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 right. You know what I want to do? Where do I want to do it? Um, let's do that. And 0.64. <laughs> that's nice and straight, eh? Don't judge me based on my lines. Let's uh, make these a little better. That one hooks too. I'm blaming it on this bench. All right, let's go. All right, we got three bars of scent. Is that a wolf? Come to daddy. Think I'll hit him? Oh. Why? Every time I want to take a shot at him, he's like, nah, I'm just going to turn. He's going to make it so I look like a fool. I am a fool, but I don't need him pointing it out. I show it off. Quite easily. Oh, stems. Yeah, maybe I should drop a handful, eh? Good thinking. When I saw them all on the thing, I thought, yeah, I should probably drop my stems. And then I totally forgot about it. As I am prone to do. Should make a rule that every 29 days I should have to uh, use a stem just to get rid of them. Alright, you guys can move because. I'm going to need the space. Uh, how many do we got to get rid of? Five, six, seven, eight. This is going to suck. Can I do it like this? Yeah. 
Give me that one. No, I want the far one, please. Damn it. There we go. Uh, mental note. Put the stems on the top shelf. Alright, what is that? Uh, three more. Nope. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. If, uh... If by chance we end a stream here... We got three now. Oh, damn. No point carrying those around. Uh, I'll take that and it doesn't matter. Yeah, if we end a stream there, I will uh, straighten those out. Put them in a spot where they can all hang out together. Alright, we got nighttime coming. We got three bars of scent. Do we have a bear? A creek bear. I don't know what that bear's called. He's called whatever. He's called soon to be in eternal sleep or soon to be chewing on my snow pants the unnamed bear yes or Fred just call him Fred that was a little risky I put it on auto walk so I could uh, rub my eye not the best time to do that because there could be a wolf I I am only going to check this because there's been some spots yeah okay there's been some spots where I haven't been to them in a, a lengthy period of time in this game or in this run where usually I encounter them quite early and we're only f finally getting to them 200 and some odd days later that is my my guidance sticks Let's go straight Did I ever put sticks up here to say, yo, now it's time to turn? I don't think I did. I don't see anything. Or hairy because bears are very hairy. Yeah. All right. Well, one stick is not going to guide me. It's just going to make me pick it up. All right. Now I got to find where was that path? It's this path, right? That's where I came down. And we will do... Oh, I didn't realize I already had sticks on me. Damn it. Idiot. Do that. There we go. Why waste spray paint? It's not environmentally friendly either. So, use sticks. Interland will love you and appreciate you. Imagine you're a wolf and it's mating season, but you got orange, fluorescent orange paint on your paw. Who wants to be with you? You use cattail heads and make an arrow. I way, way back. I, I actually, oh geez, rabbit, you scared the hell out of me. Ooh, I can take the rest of this bear meat. Um, ooh, hello. 
I, uh, right from the trapper's cabin all the way to, uh, the, the camp office, I left a trail of cattail heads and tinder. That was a long, long time ago, though. I think in a blizzard these days, I can pretty much get there, but there's a there's a specific rock i think it's that way a rock formation that whenever i encountered a blizzard i always ended up around this rock formation it didn't matter what direction i started going i always ended up there it's dusk so i can't be far behind well, this is not screaming potential aurora tonight But now I just use sticks, that way in most instances you can pick up a couple of sticks fairly close to where you want to make a marker. I'm keeping my bow out in case something comes over the hill. Uh, I should actually have my flare pistol. Actually I should make sure that it's loaded, it is. Uh, throwing that rock would probably be a good idea too. Hey. Oh, Ram. Again. <laughs> you know what I wish they could do with those sound alerts? Is give you the option as to... Because, like, that one came that direction. Um, And I think they always do, right? I wish that they could give you the option for which direction it's coming from. I think that would be pretty awesome. Alright. There's obviously no wolves. Uh, it's minus one. I, that is uncooked that's cooked to me that is not a big enough difference I don't like the new meat that's why I ate that wolf meat that one time mind you I don't think the wolf meat is that when it's fresh it's a different story right it's obviously it's usually nice and colorful and but it's like once it's ruined or rotten or whatever word they use that's when it's pretty close to the color of the cooked meat and you can regret your decisions all right i must have uh, already harvested this here okay well you know what there's no point going out any further let's go back And unfortunately, somehow, our sleep schedule got put back on track. I don't really know how that happened. Maybe I ran a couple of times, I guess. I don't know. You ate the wolf meat because you're always in a hurry. If I remember correctly, I had just cooked wolf meat. I was using a bunch of, I had a bunch of wolf meat as uh, purely as scent. And I, I don't want to take that. I had just cooked some wolf meat and I think I was just not paying close enough attention, not sure I can carry but I won't, far. I won't lie. I was probably in too much of a hurry. I don't like that being there because it's going to make me check it every time I come here. You can get out of here. I don't want you there. Um, let's read this book just to kill some time. Oh, that didn't kill enough time. We'll do that. Uh, we'll just drink water. We'll be fine. Good. 
do that. I guess that's the chance you're gonna have to take when you store a crap load of meat outside close to each other. You might think the whole pile is cooked when it's raw or ruined. I like to separate them nicely, like like noticeably when there's piles outside. Alright, Murd, you gotta go to bed. Uh, thank you. I'm just, hold on. I have to stretch again. Be a freebie. Uh, there we go. Hope, uh, hope you have a great first day at the new job. Thank you, Murd. Uh, I'll see you hopefully next weekend. I will continue with the morning streams. So have a great week. And what's the time? It's early. Let's uh, drink. And go. We still got the three bars. We also still have the crappy weather. Can I just have like a nice sunny day like I had a couple of game days ago? <laughs> the Russian roulette of meat. Can you imagine if somebody made a mod where you could take the names off of the items? So you went to your meat piles and you'd have to know just by the visual whether it was the cooked or the uncooked. And you weren't allowed to cheat by cooking all of the meat or by not cooking any of it until you needed it, you would have to just play normally and just roll the dice every time you ate a piece. That might be interesting. Right. Well, we're not going to see anything over here. We're more likely to see something if we're down in the middle of the branches. Yeah, that's right. I called these things branches. Wires. There's no chance that I took out all the animals already. To be honest, that sounds fun. I think it would be interesting. It would be frustrating if you had them uh, and who, maybe they even blank out. It's just like the shape of the meat. You didn't get to see the color. You just had to guess, but no cheating on it, right? Like you can't be like, okay, I'll leave uncooked on the left and cooked on the right, or I'll leave it by this or that. Or maybe part of the mod moves piles. I don't know. It's a little getting a little intricate in the mod section, but I need to find some place to escape this cold. I think it would be interesting, kind of like blindfolding yourself before you eat. It would also suck though, because. It only takes it only takes like one bite of the the predator meat, and you're in danger. Ask me how I know. I I think I've only ever actually experienced the uh, the, the parasites that one time, and that wasn't very long ago. That was maybe the last run that I did. Yeah. See, in early game, I don't really kill, or I used to actually, I used to harvest everything I, I killed. But also at that time, 
this was before I was streaming. And I was playing Stalker, and the weather is a lot more forgiving in Stalker than it is with the with the interloper weather. And I would harvest everything with the thinking that once I got to cooking oh, five, so I'll come cool. back later and now I got food, right? Instead of wasting it. But ever since I started streaming, I stopped doing that. And one benefit is that, I mean, I'm not going to mistakenly grab the wrong stuff. Because you can be distracted even... Even with all the colors and the words on the screen, you can totally get distracted by something. And I've had it in my stream. You all have seen it where I had two items and this item all of a sudden it's like way down here and a different items there. Um, I had the reversal where I went to eat a piece of meat and instead ended up drinking a tea that I didn't want to drink. And it, upon re-watching the video afterwards, it literally, as, as I was clicking on it, it swapped places with a different item. And it's happened a few times. Oh, damn it. Boom. Oh, there's another one. I didn't see you. Where did you come from? Can you stop? Oh, are you serious? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. I don't know how I missed that one. Uh, I'm going to just... I know I've been up here because I think I harvested the deer. Alright, let's go under here Can we actually make a fire under here? You shouldn't be able to because there's wood right above it Do it with that All right, What's the actual the okay uh, We'll use one of you and am I hearing a wolf that was I oh boy oh boy I got followed can I shoot through here apparently I can I've never been followed before like that can you drop it? Put you down. Um, I want this out just in case you brought a friend. Let's grab this. That scared the hell out of me, bud. That was like, ooh. I wasn't sure if I was hearing the fire or if I was hearing footsteps. Alright, let's do that. And... Okay. Uh, I'm trying to pronounce your name. <laughs> old, I'm going to call you Oldger. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. All right, let's, uh, an hour 22. What a second. How long is this fire? All right, you're long enough. Um, I don't need the ptarmigan meat. Oh, it's an hour 30. I thought it was an hour 22. Whatever. Old Grey Wolf. Alright. Thank you, Old Grey Wolf, for the follow. I appreciate it. Let's get you. Oh, wait. We gotta make sure. That's an outdoor fire, so it's longer. Um, I don't want to cook any of that. Whatever. Let's just do it. All 
You're 128. Oh, right. It's because some of the ptarmigan aren't the same size as others. So I think the last time I was harvesting, they were probably... I'm gonna need to eat soon. In four minutes or 12 minutes. Uh... Do that, we'll eat you. Probably should have put some of that other meat on because what if one of them... Okay, 27, 25, that works. Eat that. That was perfect timing. To be honest, ended a wolf and then someone with old gray wolf followed. Made it seem like the walk you end the wolf you ended followed your channel from the afterlife. <laughs> Is there a body up here? Did I not go up here? I had to have. Oh, I just never goodness. took it because I was. Oh, I didn't come up here. Are you loaded? Because you're not allowed to be loaded. Um, I'll just relocate that to the camp office. It's going to suck though because instant is going to be that, right? 13, 18. Do that. How much water do we have? 195? Okay. Alright, how much do we have now? We have 15. Plus we have a whole bunch. Um, should we... You know what? Yes, we should. Damn it! I left my pot again. <laughs> I left my pot and my skillet at the camp office again. Damn it, I'm going back and I'm gonna get it. And I'm probably gonna break a limb or two, but I don't care because I have, I think I have five bandages. Yeah, I have five bandages and I hate having five. I like having four. Let's go here. Whenever I take the shortcuts, I usually get lost as to whereabouts I'm gonna come out. I think I actually might want to just go straight down. You don't think you've ever left pots, but you've left metal cans. In the early game and couldn't make yourself water it sucked yes yes i i haven't for i mean earlier in this run I, I i legit forgot that i didn't grab my pots i was warming up in the cave in pleasant valley by the by the crash the by the plane crash and When I didn't know where my pot, and I think it was both pots at the time, when I didn't know where they were, I rewatched the video and I saw what I did. I was, I, I had made some birch bark tea and I grabbed them when they were done and drank one and just left. But as I explained earlier, I intentionally did leave these ones at the camp office. Where are you? Are you? A wolf? Yeah. Why are you just stopped? Oh, you're a deer. 
But yeah, I intentionally left them there when we were going wandering around during the Aurora at night. And then we went back there and I actually intended to grab them, but I grabbed everything else because I figured, you know what, all this stuff isn't supposed to be here. And then I forgot to grab them. So what what began as a as a legit just leaving it ended up being a legit forgetting. You leave your pots and pans behind all the time. Yeah, luckily I don't. Every once in a while I'll make a decision that I'll... I mean, I have a horrible memory, so I'll forget that I've done something. Um, trying to remember, I think I... I mean, everybody, I think, at some point has left a bedroll. That sucks. That's like one of the biggest oopsies ever. I did, um, one time. I went to Mountain Town. I crafted a bow. I think I crafted the bow before I went to Mountain Town. And I went to Grey Mother's and then I went to the Barker Farm. And you know you're going to encounter wolves. I didn't know until the first wolf appeared that I didn't actually finish crafting the bow. I literally put like a half hour on it or something. <laughs> and it was the only bow I had. That was a big oops as well. I'm not sure I can carry much more. You would think I had learned my lesson too, but I think it was this run where I was crafting something and forgot to actually increase the the amount of time that I was crafting it. And chat reminded me that I didn't actually finish it. Right, let's go this way. I'll read that once I get a visual on what's down here. It's the game show. What's that animal? Here we see a silhouette in the distance. Is a, a wolf or a deer? Put in your votes, people. Or if you're in Forlorn, is it a rock or a bear? Or, a, sorry, a tree stump or a bear? I had one that I was positive was a tree stump until I got closer and realized, oh damn, it's a bear. Uh, I'm not going to take any more feathers. We have lots of feathers, but I am going to take you out. So uh, everyone who's new I should point out, like I'm carrying this this gun. Initially, I was only collecting the variants and using the camp office to display them. Uh, the remainder of the variants are all at the Mountaineer's Hut in Timberwolf Mountain. But since the introduction, or since the ex, uh, the, the the kind of the description of the trader. It made me think I shouldn't be leaving anything behind, really. So I've since been grabbing uh, when I find them or whatever. Um, I'll take the regular revive, um, revival, <laughs> regular revolver or regular rifle and move them to one of the areas like one of the cabins that I use in that region just in case the trapper or the trapper the trader ever is to say like hey if only you had a rifle you didn't want I'll take that in exchange for this then I kind of know where that stuff is drop any of this gear. Um, 
Here's some of my collections. I never crafted any of these. I blow my hand off with those every single time. There's my sport bow. It's down to 25. You, Woodwright's bow, I still haven't used you, but I don't like to. Because... Although... Whoops, that's the wrong way. Although it's a, a good bow, I just... Don't want the extra weight. Although, you know what is stupid? I'll carry two regular bows at one full kilogram instead of that bow, which I think is 0.85 and has double the amount of durability. You know what? We can remedy that real quick. Let's do that. Where is that bow? Hey, 0.75. It's even better. It's 0.25 lighter. Damn it. Forgot my pot. <laughs> it's not really considered forgetting if you only stepped outside the door. There's my gold nugget. Uh, here's all the flasks. This is what I don't know. Are there supposed to be duplicates? Because I have two different duplicates. And I'm sure that I've had duplicates of both of those. And maybe of that. Each in different runs. The one I don't have is the bunny flask. And I actually looked for it and I didn't see it. Right, where are we going to go? Um, I, okay, we don't have a bear out there. We checked. That's not a bear cave. I know, right? The pots were the reason I came here in the first place, and I just about left without taking them. Uh, we don't need you. You can run away. Now, what I don't remember, I'm sure we have that bear. We lured this bear one time all the way up to the camp office. It was kind of excruciating because of how slow they move, but he was kind of halfway here when I started. So we just continued doing it. Let's go this way. Let's put you away. You're shiny and new, but we don't need to show you off. I should go to the cabin over here, the broken cabin. Again, the whole point of me just walking around like this, I'm trying to flush out all the predators and try to make it safe. We have lots of food. We're not really worried about food. Uh, we should continue to grab sticks. I don't believe we have a lot. We have 11. But we also have three pieces of cedar. Did I hear the bear? I th thought I heard that sound. Do I risk going up the hill? I will, but I will do that way. I make sure every single time I pull that out, I make sure I check to make sure it's loaded. That was actually a pretty good impression. 
Thanks. It's one of the only ones I do. Well, I do do a I do do a pretty mean coach, right? Like no fishing. There we go. Coach isn't a big old meanie though. He is a nice man. There you are. All right. Should I try? You know what? He's already headed that way. Let's try to get him over to the camp office. What the hell, right? Look at him. He's struggling. That's, a, that's an old bear. He's like, damn, this hill is steep. All right, Glaster, don't break your wrist. I will wood rate you to death. Oh. Oh yeah, Huck and the Rock is gonna work. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. Wolf doesn't have a clue what's on the other side of that hill. Get it over with. Oh, shenanigans. I missed. He zagged. He zagged. That's not fair. And then I missed. I totally missed. Is that the bow out of HRV? Yes, it is. All right, how's my clothing? It should be okay. 66, ah, damn it. Coach is, gonna, Coach is gonna make me repair those. And he's right. Where's the bear? I still got the scent. Where did he go? I think I heard footsteps. Yeah, he's still up there. He's coming. That was my bedroll. 94. This is stupid. <laughs> Bear incoming. Three bars of sand. Hey, let's break down this arrow. Where is he? How long is it to break it down? It's five minutes. That seemed like it was an eternity. <laughs> You've never found this bow? Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's in a tough spot. Come on, buddy. That bear's got booty. Look at it. Wiggling it side to side. Flare gun. That's probably, I don't, I'm not, a, well, you know what? We've had a bear just insta attack or I guess insta charge. Hey, what the hell? You can't. He just did his little turn on the catwalk. <laughs> Is the sexy bear. The too sexy bear. We, last time or only time that I ever lured this bear right to the camp office, I actually took, I one shot at him with the revolver. And dropped him. It's not something you get to do very often.
You even completely mapped HRV and then walked out before realizing you never found it? Oh no. I, I, I'm no expert in HRV, but I am a lot better than I used to be. Just because I made a point of making sure to go there and spend some time. To the point where I'm not as intimidated by it as much. And I have a good idea now where the where the locations are but it's an easy one to miss wow there it is there's that an old dodge idling. Come on, Mr. Bear. People are watching, dude. Let's go. I'm picking up these sticks. So as I can make a fire. Oh, I should bring him over there. I should bring, I should try and, uh, I, I don't want to though. I think it's more impressive than bring him right to the camp office. But bringing him over there would be pretty awesome because you have an outdoor stove. And it's the chimpanzees in the sky. Imagine being in that bear's shoes. You're just a little bit curious. You're not afraid of anything because you know what? You're a bear. Next thing you know. It's judgment day. <laughs> and you're like, how the hell did I get here? Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello, tree. Where are ya? Oh, good. I, I was actually really worried that he disappeared. I thought he cloaked himself like that bear in the musk egg. tonight bud I don't want to get too far away from him and have him lose interest but I'm also being very weary come on bud because it wasn't very long ago I had a bear that was in that state and just decided I'm going to charge you. Well, last time I was wondering if I could use that sign to save my skin. But the bear went down on the first shot with that revolver, so I didn't really need the sign. But... When we get closer, I'm probably going to use the sign cuz I'm going to I'm going to try and hit him with the bow. I wish I had rocks. More rocks cuz I'm worried that I'm going to get just outside of his range and he's going to turn around.
<laughs> you had a moment with the Milton Bridge Bear where he was coming out of his cave and you were searching the last car on the bridge and he saw you. He didn't even stand up on his hind legs and charged you. Yeah, that's fun times, isn't it? I don't mind that that happens once in a blue moon. I don't know if it's supposed to or if it's not, but I don't mind it happening because in real life, there's bears that instantly see you and they're like, nope, you're not supposed to be here. Come on, bear. I'm looking for rocks, too. I don't see any around here. So I don't do, if you haven't seen me before, I don't do the bear dance or the moose dance. Um, I've said before, I'll pick my cheese, but this is one of those moments where I'm picking my cheese. If I can get them real close and I can get a bow shot on them, I will use the sign and we will run around it. Nifo does the tractor dance. Yes. In my defense, that was actually before I ever knew the dancing thing was a was an actual thing. That was just pure fear. If you don't know what we're talking about, I got chased by... It was actually the start of a run. First, I narrowly avoided a bear and then almost walked into the moose in the birch forest in Pleasant Valley. And he charged and I just panicked and just started running around a tree and then I ran to another cluster of trees. Eventually I was able to run to a tractor and I didn't realize that, or I didn't even think that I had a chance of beating him to the tractor and I jumped in it and the run continued. But I didn't know at that time. Hey, look at that. Aw, look at that. Two, four, two. It's like we're doing a dance right of our own. I didn't know back then that, like, you know, you could actually do that. Like, dance with these people and these people. I'm talking like my wife. She, she refers to animals as people because of her MS. <laughs> we laugh about it. Come on, Mr. Bear. All right. Getting close. Now, if I run up on the porch, am I safe up there? Do I have to actually? I mean, there's a quick way of finding out. If I just do this and he turns around. Am I safe up here? I want to wait. I need them to be... I want them as close as possible. It's, it's, it's looking like I've abandoned the idea of running around the sign. Well, we're about to find out if this is a... You are safe, but he will not call off the, the chase. Hey, I can finally get a thumbnail of the camp office that I've never had 75 other times. Get your breath out of the way. Am I still? Damn it.
Damn it, Astrid. Why do you have to be in pain? How long is that pain? Uh, I don't think I have painkillers in there. I just, I want clear visibility so I can get a good thumbnail. Come on, Astrid. Good enough. Hey, where's my arrow? I shot you twice. DoorDash bear, yeah. I might have painkillers in here. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of being an idiot because I could, I mean, I'm going to need a fire to harvest them anyway. But I'm being a cheapskate. Hey. You go with your buddy. Uh... I don't have very much in here just because it's not actually my base. I use this as my base all the time, but I'm actually trying to not use it. I'm going to take that wood. All right. Uh, maybe actually, maybe a thumbnail will look better with a fire. I'm pretty sure I can't put this on the wood. That makes lots of sense. Oh, is there my arrow? Thank you. All right, it's relatively calm. Let's not put you right on his nose. Let's go like that. So stoked for safe house customization. Yes, yes. That's one of the things I was waiting for the most. Um, we got lots of sticks. That might warm us enough. Uh, let's get rid of that meat. I don't want to drop the pie though. Why do I have seven? I don't know. Throw that on there. Right. And put you right there so I don't forget you. I should have turned this around so I could just sit up there. Let's take nine. Yeah, you can't get much closer than this, right? This is, uh, I mean, it's my only my second time luring a bear to the camp office, but it's obviously the closest I've ever had them. And the beauty is I don't have to whip out the, uh, the sled. I can just do this. Uh, the other guy was kind of like right there, I think. And I thought that was close, but I also, like I said, I was using a revolver. I don't remember if it was just a regular revolver. Um, and I didn't expect him to go down in one shot. So I was expecting to fire a second shot and get him closer, but... Uh, I have 15 minutes. It's night time. No Aurora. 12 minutes. Just take three, I guess, right? And hope that this wind doesn't shift, because that would suck. Um, I do not want to keep scent, so I got that one piece.
Take six, and that should be enough, right? <laughs> per your contract, you mods are all now on double time and a half. Oh, we've hit the four hour mark. Look at that. Eight minutes. Two hours. What is that? 56 minutes? I'll get five. And take all ten. Oh, I didn't look at the fire. I don't know how long is on the fire. I hope it's long enough. I think it is. Alright, good. I should have left a couple of these over here. Uh, because I have the guts, I don't want to pick one of these up and try to drop it with a button. Uh, that can all stay there. Surrounded by some all right. Before she starts talking about drinking her pee, let's do that. You know Astra, she's a freak. We just took a bear. Oh, hey, hey, hey. That's not fair. You went under the rug. I don't like that. And... Let's do that. Oh, I got two over here. Okay, I'm picking all of them up just so I can throw all of them down in one pile. I actually should separate them, but I'm not going to. got 45 till ready let's do that just spoke up snow walker badge and just about crap your pants uh, what do we want to do you're done right we're not taking the point three we want him to stay here oh right 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 We want this. Is that good enough? Do another one. He's kinda, kinda. All right, 37 minutes. Uh, let me break that. Let's just forward it. I'll take you. Tired. Uh, what's our water at? 0. 0.52. Get the handle out of the fire. I'm just going to make 0. 0.5. And I'm going to be foolish. Can I reach it? Hey. Ooh. That's Rem again. Oh, that's too bad. Next time I'll pay attention to this. Well, I say it like it happens frequently. <laughs> 11 minutes. Let's do another 0.5. But next time maybe I'll rotate it so that it's over there. Maybe I, well, maybe when I'm standing up there, I can reach down and be safe. It's 2.52. I'm sure we got enough time, right? Oh, 24 minutes. Um, ooh, actually, you know what? I need... Um, 
I need to make two of you. Uh, I could make one of those. I can make a coffee as well. Five minutes, 11. Make a coffee and let's make mushrooms. I don't really drink the, uh, the teas for pain and all that. I just drink them for warm drinks. Hey, copper, you made it. Welcome in. How are you today? Did you see what we did out there? We got one of these guys right on the porch, right outside of the porch. Was fun. All right, we're going to go here. We're going to, what do we got to eat? Let's eat one of these. I think these are all full. Yeah, they are. And actually I don't like drinking that way. Let's do that. And I actually think I'm going to end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, I thank you for watching. And if you liked what you saw, please like, and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow.